What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to iOS 15, we now have the third point update and as you can see here, this is iOS 15.3 beta 1. This is the third point update and it comes 4 days since the release of the original iOS 15.2 which was officially released. Now as you can see for me here on my device, this update comes in at exactly 4.7 two gigs and i was updating from ios 15.2 the official version now obviously this is not all that apple released today if we go to the uh, beta.apple.com website or developer.apple.com website you'll be able to see some other updates that were released by apple today so the first one that we have here is mac os 12.2 it was released today to public beta testers and yesterday to developer beta testers and today we got ios as well as ipad os 15.3 beta 1 to developers we also got watchOS 8.4 beta 1 and tvOS 15.3 beta 1 here at half men half tech i do cover a lot of software update content from apple so if that's something that interests you and you want to keep up to date with the latest updates then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated now i've already updated my device so if we go into settings and go to general and go to about you can actually see the new build number that we have here and it's 19d 5026 g so the build number has a g at the end and in terms of stability it's one that you'd really want to think about deeply before updating as a new update or a new beta isn't going to come out really soon and the modern firmware version that we have here is 5.01.00 so those are the software changes now in terms of new features and changes this update actually doesn't pack a lot it seems to be more of a bug fix update although apple doesn't really mention what they're trying to fix or resolve and if we go to the release notes of this update you will see that apple mentions that there are no new release notes for this beta software update so we had to actually dig around and one of the new features that anticipated for ipad os 15.3 at least with this update is universal control that will be able to allow you to use a peripheral device like a mouse to be able to control your uh, ipad and also your mac so that hasn't been mentioned in the code or the release notes of this update so we are yet to see whether that will be introduced with perhaps 15.3 with a later beta or perhaps with 15.4 so time would tell when it comes to that and also something else that's changed or that has been updated with this update if you use the messages app quite often when it comes to extended protection for children so this is communication safety in messages and you'll be able to see that with ios 15.2 and beyond you actually have this feature enabled so it's something that was available with the official release of ios 15.2 that was released on monday but you can see that here this these are the screens that we have currently with ios 15.2 so if you're on 15.2 and you have a child account set up on your device you will see these emojis and these screens but with the ios 15.3 beta 1 update that just came out these have been updated with newer emojis so like these two emojis that you see here this one has been updated to depict an emoji of a monkey and this one is just two kids holding hands and just minor wording change when it comes to you know the text that you're going to see if this is something that you have set up this is not system system has been disregarded by apple silently and if you want to set up your device for a child you just have to go into your settings and then go to where it says screen time so click right there on screen time and if you go all the way to the bottom you will see this feature that says set up screen time for family so if you click there you'll be able to set up screen time for a child and you can see that it says create an account for a child and once you've set up your iCloud and your screen time for a child you'll be able to use uh, this feature that will scan pictures or content that your child receives and it will be able to blur the picture 
teachers and warn your child and give them option so that they can protect themselves and contact someone they trust and feel safe with so that's something that has been updated with this uh, update and also another change that came with this ios 15.3 beta 1 has to do with minor wording change when it comes to the podcast app so if you use the podcast app and you've actually uh, seen all that is in your library so you go to your library and then you go to latest episodes you can see that this screen has been uh, updated it now says that you are are all caught up if you've seen the latest episodes that are in your uh, library here in latest episodes so all caught up but before this we actually used to have a screen that says no latest episode so you can see that i actually watched the last one or listened to the last one from renee richie right there and after that you can see that on ios 15.2 it would say no latest episodes but with 15.3 that screen has been updated and similarly when it comes to uh, other applications like the apple news app there's also been minor wording change and also a few splash screens when it comes to the podcast app i did see a new splash screen although i forgot to take a screenshot and also like i mentioned when you first open up the apple news app this is what i'm seeing here customized notifications from apple news and if you say not now you'll be able to open up your uh, news app and if you have news plus subscription you'll be able to see the minor wording change so nothing major this update does does seem like it's going to be a bug fix update and like i mentioned apple didn't really mention much when it comes to this ios and ipad os 15.3 the first beta no new release notes for this update so it seems like it's more of a bug fix update and if you do see some new features or new changes that i didn't cover let me know in the comment section below and perhaps i'll be able to do a video uh, diving deep down with this update and as again like i mentioned this update does have a build number that is highly unstable with a g and if you do update and you have an issue it's going to be a while before we can see a new update as what apple does uh, they usually take the last two weeks of december off for the holiday season and then updates resume either on the first or the second week of january so between the first or second week of january that's when i can expect ios 15.3 beta 2 and until then stay safe and thank you so much for the support here on the channel at halfman half tech we just hit 10k subscribers which is a great and amazing milestone thank you for the love and support it's been tremendous so stay safe guys and have a great weekend and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace